Hi all, it's Ali. I'm quite upset, you know. I've been watching a few other channels that have been running down people that I've come to really love and like. And I say love, you know, as in a, a very, lo very loose term. Um, on YouTube, you get characters, don't you? Um, on certain channels that you fall in love with. And it doesn't matter what how that live stream goes or whether it's a video you're watching but somehow you can't help yourself you're drawn to them you want to you want to see them again and again now i've been hearing people run down other people that i like and that's hurtful and i'm not gonna i don't know whether to name who it is i suppose i should really because um oh, i don't know no, it doesn't matter. The principle's the same because I don't want to insert myself into something that's none of my business and I don't know the background to. So I guess I shouldn't say names, but maybe people who know me and know where I go and watch will, will understand. The thing is that for me, I'm me. I'm the same person that you see here on the screen because I this is my vlogs. As you would get if you met me. Um, yes, you'd, I wouldn't show you my worst dimension on here. Of course I wouldn't. I guess I have done in the past, but <laughs> not, not really bad. You know what I'm saying? What I try to do is give you a flavour of who I am. And for those few of you who come over and watch me and enjoy my channels, I'm delighted with that. But when I hear, when I've been, I only go to a few channels. I go to G's channel, I go to Abe's channel, I go to, um, oh gosh, I go to some drama channels and I, that, that's about it. I, I just watch a few. Some I like more than others. Some I want to like, but just can't find my way liking them, you know. But for me, the people that you watch, it's because of their it's charisma, shall we say, and their personality. I don't care what their background is, you know. It's if they want to share they're married, if they want to share they're divorced, if they want to share that they, they're very poorly, if they want to share that they have depression, if they want to share that uh, they hate this person, that person, and they're more open to being um, challenged. Uh, which I, I I don't particularly want to be because I don't want to insert myself into something that's that's not really my business, and I also don't feel the need to prove that the the people that I watch, whether or not what they're saying is absolutely correct. I don't know if they've got one leg, two legs. If they tell me they've got six legs, I don't know. I don't have to feel the need to to look for proof. I don't feel my the need to bury my head or go searching into their Facebook. I think anybody that feels that need, and sure, it's like there are occasions it's been tempting because something's been funny and you think, oh, I wonder if I can see that. For instance, I don't know, there was something, I, I saw somebody with a webbed toe. I don't know who that was. Um, it was being shown and I thought, oh, that's really interesting and that's really funny. They were obviously doing it to take the piss out of the person. So they were doing it in a detrimental fashion. But for me, that's not why I watch a person. I watch a person for how they deliver, how they make me smile, giggle, if they're a bit sarcastic, if they do it with a comedic act the way that they deliver, even if they're whinging, it doesn't matter to me. That can be actually extremely funny. And if it makes them feel better, that's great too. And then, you know, when we're uh, people that play games on like, um, oh, I don't know, different games are on, on their live streams. Sometimes that's really fun. And, you, and it gets you thinking, if you were in that live stream, how would you answer that? And people in, in, you know, in the side cat, chat, they, they, you know, they're, they're nice to me and they're nice. And you, you start making little side chat 
um, you know, interactions and, and friendships. And when you hear them being run down, do you know, it's surprisingly upsetting. But there's nothing you can do about that except to say, and I will say this quite, why? If, if you're going to run down somebody and you say that they're so rubbish, why would you spend an hour and 20 minutes doing that and then again more time at the end of a live stream? It seems extraordinary to me. I mean, I watched on one of the channels a complete bitch fest. Really, all that channel seemed to be about, for me, was, and some of the characters are quite you know were quite could have been quite funny and I've heard them in the past and they seem to have been all right but all they've projected to me is that they're a bunch of bullies and a bunch of bitching people who just really want to criticize this criticize that and to say that everybody that watches that person is uh are stupid they'll see soon see you'll be let down and it won't be long you'll soon see and you think to yourself i've had peace harmony connections friendships grown in chats that i've been on um mark terry gets an awful lot of shit i've had i thought i'd never go back to mark terry's i even said on here he's had a second chance for me that's it but I have gone back to Mark Terry's because, um, when I can, because there's something very likeable about him. And I've realised if he lies and he's caught out in a lie, it depends how bad the lie is. Does it really matter? I mean, hell's bells. I'm in the UK. I'm usually, I usually watch, you know, people in the US. Does it really matter? It doesn't because there's a whole section of a live chat that I like. There are also other Brits in the live chat, so I can say hi to my homies as well. Um, I don't see, and I mean, I'm only using Mark a, as an example, but I've already said I watch G's, I watch, sometimes I watch Mark, sometimes I watch Abe's, sometimes I watch some drama channels, and actually I watch a lot of um, like real life stories, as long as the people aren't too monotone on it that are delivering the stories. So I feel quite hurt that I know my friends will be hurt, or my YouTube friends may be hurt. They may say they don't care, but I just want them to know that if they've been hurt by the things they've heard, that I'm really sorry because that hurts me too. I don't like seeing bullies. I hate bullies on YouTube and I've always tried my best not to run down people. Why? If you don't really like them, I've had my moments where I've said, that's it. I'm not, da, 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 you know, watching that person or whatever. But you know, I just don't have it in me. And does it matter if the person is, has told you that you're a lie about their background? Yes, you could say it says something about their character. All I'm interested is in the show and the delivery and their charismatic ways. Um, yes, I do care if they're a paedophile. Yes, I do. I wouldn't wish to support a channel where I, I knew somebody was a paedophile. If a paedophile was in that chat, would I care? No. How could I care? What? I wouldn't wouldn't interact with them if they I knew that. But but I can't stop that happening, and it's the person that delivers the show that's important to me. That's my bit today. Good lord, I'm quite full of clarity today. I've got my dad coming at lunchtime. I'm in the middle of cooking. Um, oh gosh, here we go. I'm going to have a brain moment. Um, flapjack. Flapjack with the difference. I've sort of added some cereal in with it. I don't know. It's uh, some granola. I don't know what it will be like. But anyway, I'm sure I'll like it because it will be sweet. I've got, I'm outside having a nice coffee. And our town here, I tell you what. 
we've got a rubbish town now. It used to be a lovely market town and we miss so much. And even down to thunderstorms we miss. They said we were gonna have thunderstorms. They've been saying it for three days. It's hot and it's sticky and even our town can't get a bloody thunderstorm in it. So we're missing that too. So if I want to rant, I'll rant about things in real life. <laughs> Not things that I can't prove and actually don't give a shit about or couldn't prove. I give a shit. Of course I do. If somebody says they're ill or they're depressed, of course I would be, give a shit about that. But it's about making connections and enjoying a side chat and enjoying the charisma about the person. And I don't actually mind about anything else bar that. I don't think there's anything I should worry about other than that. Take care. I hope you're all, all well out there. As you can see, I've done a crazy undercut, by the way, on my hair. I even did an undercut here, if any of you were wondering. So, yes, I'm going a bit mental. I've gone really, uh, started an undercut again. We'll see how long the top gets before I uh, lob it off. Take care. My love to all. Bye.